previously on the Atherton Project. Like Clay said, this needs to be like the turning point, you know, this needs to be the, where the bullshit stops and you get your gate sorted, you know. I think uh, having, having won the strike last year and having kind of seen what it's like to be world champion, I think it I think you almost want it more, you know, once you've seen what it's like and once you've felt what it's like to be world champion. I definitely want it more now than I did last year. It felt good all week and then today, just, that run I was just empty, you know, it's one of those days. Rachel's near and they're a family. We're not just like a usual team and it's not like just missing a team member, it's they're, they're missing and Rach, the sister, and looking forward to getting her back, really. We was wet behind the ears, new, immature and had no clue. Just look at a new app I've got called iPimpin. I mean, not that I need it. Hey, I'm going outside to make out. Want to join me? What? What? Did you fart? Because you blew me away. Okay, hold on. You're like a prize winning fish. I don't know whether to eat you or mount you. Thanks, iPimpin. Way to ruin my night. first day I just I couldn't believe it like I thought like like the first day ridden for like almost a year and I rode the Schlabming racetrack and I thought oh I'm gonna be like so bad and I felt so good like it was so rad I just was so happy like didn't like just remembered instantly like nothing had changed like I'd just ridden like all year it was so good my bike was like perfect everything just the same like it was so good. A little bit slower, but not much. I felt like I'd never been away. I mean, obviously I was slower and I felt like a bit sore and a bit stiff and stuff, but like, you know, sort of reading the track and, and looking, you know, where I'm going and making my bike do what I want, like, I felt, I felt good. I cut and I was pretty happy. <laughs> learned a lot more than I ever thought I could learn this year about about myself and about about the other riders as well because when you're racing and you're you know with them the other riders like all year you're, you're in there and you never step back and take a look and it's all well and good been you know been an athlete and been a racer and a, and a bike rider but then when you have to stop that and you can't do it it's like you know you, you just lost you don't know where you are so it's good for me to know that without Cycling, you know, it's it's a big part of me, and you know, I can get, you know, there's a lot of other stuff I like to do, but without cycling, it's it's good to know that it really is ingrained in me, you know, and I can't really manage without it. Coming off the back of Worlds, you know, it was it was a tough race for me and G. So Schladmin, we both wanted to do well, we both wanted to pin it, but at the same time, it'd been a long year, and we just wanted to have fun, you know. Granny said to us. Don't even worry about what, how you finish. Don't, don't think about it. Don't put loads of pressure on yourself. Just, just enjoy yourself, you know? And that was Brownie's big thing. Just told us to enjoy ourselves.
So this year we've been working with Sven Martin, uh, the photographer, and Sven is probably one of the biggest characters on the World Cup circuit. He's an amazing guy to travel around with and he's an amazing guy to have around. He's just so light-hearted, but at the same time you can wind him up so easily. Yeah. Something broke. They're just, you know, <laughs> trying to shoot photos of Dan that's never f***ing taking runs. Why didn't you film him, shoot him earlier, you idiot? I've f***ing been here for god half an hour, dude. What's he no, doing? No, I meant Rachel, you idiot. Oh yeah, I'd say Sven was uh, definitely a very unique guy. <clears throat> you know, he's just the nature of his, uh, just the way he works, you know. Well, the way he lives, I guess, everything, 110%. Oh, shit. yeah, f yeah, dude. You know, wherever it's up on the hill taking photos, you'll see him just putting everything he's got into it, you know, running around, super hectic. There we go, we have a problem though. We have a near follower. All right, let's see how this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> I think I f***ed it up. I don't know anyone that's so like hectic and clumsy but yet can pull together this like like perfect piece of art. It's pretty, uh, pretty rare. He's an amazing guy. He's, he's a one-off. He finds different angles because he's a rider. I think from being a kind of a pro skater and been on our side of things for such a long time, he's got, you know, he's got the angles and, and some of the views and, and like and the way he takes photos different you know differently to the obvious four cross at Schladming the track was wicked you know it was a, I felt like it was a step in the right direction it had some nice flat turns like slalom style and then it had a few kind of big jumps I loved it you know qualified didn't go amazing kind of slipped both my pedals in the, on the second straight but didn't really matter because uh, it wasn't a super important gate choice track all right, the Effie looks safe. Get Dan, second round. Things are starting to get serious now. Good. Oh yeah, that's all we needed. That's perfect. Safe again. Hang on. Yeah, one and two. And we round them up. Round three. And hit the different spot now. Good gate. Alright, uh, he's in second, but he's got a bit of a oh, Good gate. Come on, Ash. I think Ash's in the zone tonight. Good, I reckon I'm more nervous than Ash is when he's in the gate. My legs are <laughs> shaking, dude. I can't even take photos once from here on out. I'm spectating. Brian can buy photos from Gary. Too much emotional involvement with the uh, employees. You get fired for shit like this. Affy's outside, though. Gamble. Yeah, they just said great move, and uh, I think that's Affy. He was outside, he had a plan. Oh, Jesus. What's happening? Graves, Saladini. Come on, Affy! I went out in semis and into B final. I won B final, so I was stoked to, to get a win, but it's a shame I wasn't in the in the in the final, you know. Pretty relieved, you know, it's been a long season, like so many injuries. Feels like it's been so long since I've been at home. Not on a schedule, you know. I just can't wait to go home and just dig trails and just relax and not do anything, you know. Obviously, uh, the overall's pretty much gone, I'd say. So, no pressures from uh, from getting an overall point now. You know, I'm not bothered whether I hold fourth, scrape into third or drop back to fifth, so, you know, overall-wise, not bothered. But obviously, it's a World Cup, and obviously, I still want a result at a World Cup, you know. I feel like I definitely can win on this track, you know. I feel confident, I feel super fast in practice, and, I feel like I've got all my lines dialed. Just whether or not on Sunday I'll put the run together that I know I need to put together.
going into Schladming, I was uh, I was kind of looking forward to getting back on a, a European track, you know, a track I'd enjoy and a track I'd, I could do well on. And I was really enjoying the practice, but you know, the speed I was riding at, I knew I'd have to really go all or nothing to, to do well there, and that was the game plan, really. Just absolutely all or nothing. <laughs> Good on this track, and like practicing with G, he's so damn fast. Like he just fucking pins it here, and it's amazing. I think like if there's a track that you can win, it's this one for sure. Like, he's so fast, but he just keeps crashing everywhere. You know, just needs to hold it together and slow down a little bit, maybe. But I know that's not gonna happen. He's just gonna pin it. But a lot of crashes this weekend. My ankle is like killing me. My left knee is like massive. <laughs> Spent a lot of time on the floor this weekend. In qualifying, I was I was pinning it. I felt really good, felt really strong. I think I was like sixth at the split, and then I had a massive crash, and then I got a puncture, and I finished like 19th or 20th or something. And uh, so I was I was stoked with that. You know, coming into the final, I felt good. And, And then final came round and I had two big crashes in my race run, and, uh, but it was all right. I enjoyed myself. You know, for my race run, I knew it was going to be, it was going to be touch and go whether it would work. You know, like I had my lines dialed and I felt I felt fast, but at the same time I didn't want to roll into the finish with another fourth or fifth place. And I wanted to try and smash it and pull something out of the bag or just hit the deck and. A big crash came out of nowhere and that was it, you know. I think I finished 12th in the end, but I don't know, I didn't even check. But that was always the way it was going to be and, you know, it was, it was no biggie. Overall, it was a good season and although the results weren't as, weren't as good as I'd hoped, there were still times when I was really pleased with how it was going and, you know, every, every year you have something new to battle against and, and a new challenge and, and this year was no different, you know. Become, carry on.